welcome back to Sally Entertainment. I'm your host, Orion Vincent, and tonight we got the Street Fighters versus the Barn Owls. This is Coast Hockey League at Richmond Ice, Div 1. With me as always, classic co-host, Sean Simonson. Yeah, that's right. I'm commentating Beer League Hockey. Yeah, I'm just as confused as... Pete Davidson being with Kim Kardashian. But anyways, here we go. So here's a confusing situation. That team is the Barn Owls. Now we're looking at the other end, the Street Fighters. Yeah, well, Simonson, I was talking to the Barn Owls before, uh, after the game, and they don't have their jerseys. They order them, and they're waiting for them. So they're just a wreck of a mess over here. Look at all those. So ugly to watch. But you know what? I'm going to give it them the pass because they did order the jerseys. Here we go. There's the Street Fighters. There. Break the game off. Advantage there. Right down low to his other buddy, number 21, Bishop. Up. Bishop curls around that right back to Avanis and Avanis scores to break off this game and uh, I, I can't help but notice that ugly orange tart behind the net but look at this goal though there's Bishop there curls around the net backhand right to Avanis and Avanis just buries that and uh, Bostock had no chance yeah first of all I want to make a comment on yes it's in the mail man that's a classic excuse but in this electronic day and age does it work but anyways here we are check out this score one nothing yeah Simon said you're right they could have been lying just so we don't trip them in the commentary maybe we should because they look horrible They're, oh man man that was a high stick there uh Richie just got high stick there by uh look at this let's run this right back number 81 from the barn owls there in the ugly green there just high sticks him Ainge I think his name is and he's gonna get a penalty for that for sure hopefully uh Richie's okay I don't like to see that ever yeah as we run this back uh, it appears there was a, a high stick on the play <laughs> Yes, there definitely was, Simonson. Let's have another one. Oh, man, there's Burden from our league has a shot there. Nice save by, I don't know, I'm already confused by all so many different colors of the jerseys. But I do know the Street Fighters, and I know that's a vanish. And a vanish goes around, and he puts that in, Simonson, and he's, the goalie has no idea where it is. And, uh, oh, it's behind him. He scores. What? Oh, and Vanish makes it vanish! Look at that trick! Wow, with the red bucket and the red pants. Look at this, number 14, a Vanish. Look at that footwork. Oh, protects the puck, beautiful, and boom, gone. Well, Bostock thought he had it, Simonson, but the the chicken stock was not, it was not there, Simonson. Bo didn't have the stocks up. The stocks plummeted is exactly what happened, Simonson. Crypto fell, and so did Bostock there. Ah, this market's so unpredictable these days. Two nothing for one team. Here we go. Now, check out, that's that team. The Barn Owls, they give it away. Oh my God, streak at number six. Protects the check and scores. Yeah, Simonson, the Street Fighters number six scored again, but he's not on the roster and he has no name bar, so all we know him as is number six. Come on, Street Fighters, you guys have the semi uh, matching jerseys, do better. Uh, anyways, there's the Barn Owls, they give it away uh, to the Street Fighters, and look at number six with speed, streaking, and look at how he protects that puck. Oh man, that was nice, Simonson. I don't care how bad that their jerseys are, and I don't care how bad that ugly tarp looks, that was a nice goal. Go and take the puck, go and score a goal. Be a man. <laughs> Simonson is definitely ready to commentate. Uh, like I said, this is beer league hockey. We're definitely having a couple beers. He's a little ahead of me, and it's going to show in the commentary. And uh, here we go, three nothing. There is the Barn Owls. I can tell because they're unorthodox with their jerseys. Has a shot and a nice save by Barrett. Uh, there you go, Bishop, the Street Fighter, on the other way. Uh, gets checked by the Barn Owls. Barn Owls with their weird jerseys. There's a vanish there, and uh, that's going to. Oh, there's a hooking penalty in play. Miss this. Oh yeah, I didn't see the hooking either here, but yeah, as uh, oh there it is, a stick hook, I guess, is what they're calling. Jersey's a crap, so are the calls. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that wasn't very good of a call. I got to agree with you, Simonson, on both things. Um, and that's going to be the end of the first period. Oh, you know what? Some of these Street Fighter guys have BCHL jerseys, and that's why they have no name bars in the back. So, yeah, you guys got to get all matching jerseys, man. Anyways, there's Bird in there. Has a nice shot. Nice save there by Barrett. Uh, play goes on there. Street Fighter's there, number 24. Uh, goes around him. Oh, wow, what a goal! How by Steffens? That was real nice, Simonson. You're going to have to take this one away. Oh, wow. Okay, so you say that that's the Street Fighters? Okay, check it out. Number 2 4. Wow, putting this puck away like I put away a 2 4 on a Friday night. Check that out. He just gave it that. Uh what is that, that Saget uppercut? Yeah, yeah, it's a Saget uppercut, Simonson. He has a, it's a Tiger uppercut. You could say it's the Ryu uppercut. He gave him the rat that that rat that Ah, oh, sorry, you can. Ah, oh, you can. There you go. Here's the Street Fighters. They're a vanish. Easy to tell because he's got the red bucket. Has a shot. There he scores. Ah, oh, you can. Oh, wow. He got that right through the legs there. Like, like we're going to have to look at this. I, it was so fast, I didn't even see it. 
Oh, Simonson, look at this. Well, advantage. It just he just went right through the legs like uh like uh Bostock was Chung Lee there and he just put it right through her legs. Ooh, Chung Lee. I remember the move she could do. Oh, I definitely remember her, Simonson. And so does the Vanish share uh, with that one. And the Street Fighters are going to go up. I think it's 5-0 five, five there. I don't think the Barn Owls are on the board. Yeah, yeah, that's right. 5 nothing for the Street Fighters, Simonson. They're going to win the tournament here. Well, okay. 5 nothing for the guys that are used to street fighting, and they're doing this dirty, clearly, because they're just getting in there, and they're making it work. Oh, well, Simonson, uh, the Barn Owls, I believe, just scored there. There's going to be no Selly on this play. But uh, let's have a look at this. Uh, it's so hard to call with these jerseys. But, uh, yeah, there's a bar now. They snap it, and Hanson Bukata just goes uh, all crazy kinds of Bukata and Bukakis. They're goalie Simon's hitting they score. Well, the barn owls normally recluse to uh, daylight. They come out into it a little bit here. Yeah, yeah, Simonson, that's exactly what it is there. There's number 93. The Barn Owls have a shot there and a nice save there by Barrett, uh, the Street Fighters. And the Street Fighters are going to turn it right back around. Nice little play there by number 28. And it goes for, oh, man, what a save there, I think, by Barrett. I might be getting all these goals confused. I wish they had proper jersey, Simonson. This is extremely hard to call. Hey, man, I'm just glad that I'm not colorblind because I see a lot of different colors here. So anyways, here, making moves down in the corner of Barn Owls, I believe it is. They throw it down for another owl-like figure. He tries to throw it to the net, and it ends up going off of a Street Fighter's foot into the net. Yeah, it does, Simonson. Matson, number 77, he's going to get credit for this, but let's look at this. M. Matson curls around, and oh, man, it went right off of the skate of number two Cameron of the Street Fighters. And uh, they had a little help, Simonson. They, it, it was like... Uh, they were low health, and they kind of gave him, uh, you know, they won the fight that time. Hey, you know what? Like, I keep continuously saying this crap all the time. Throw them pucks to the net. Cause you never know what's going to happen, and that's what did. Oh, man, and what a save there by Barrett. Um, and you're right, Simonson. Throw pucks to the net. You never know what's going to happen, and, and uh, that just happened. But uh, nothing happened there. Anyways, oh, number 28, and a nice, beautiful save there by Bostock. Yeah, no, definitely. Check it out. The vanishing guy does the vanishing trick again. Oh, my God. We're at a magic show. Simonson, this guy is going full. Is it David Blaine? Is he a magician or what is he, Simonson? I don't know. He's wearing a red bucket. That stands out. His gloves are red and his pants are too. There you go, Simonson. He's the red magician there. And uh, Vanish makes that puck disappear. It vanishes. Uh, it's like he works at the Granville Island magic shop, Simonson, and he's showing us all the tricks. And look at him. He's showing all the boys the tricks, telling them their secrets, but he's not telling the barn owls their secret simonson yeah no definitely not it's six to two and not for the good side not for the good side i don't even know if there is a good side simonson <laughs> but uh i mean the scoreboard's wrong because it's six to two they say it's five to two anyways there you go the barn owls there right to number 97 matson has a shot i don't believe that's matson that's gateman but uh yeah these jerseys are making it so hard and the barn owls there all sorts of different jerseys coming out like this joseph and the technicolors got a dream coast and they score simonson well the rainbow party comes into effect as they're doing some action so check it out two three number 23 if you didn't catch that throws it to white jersey back to 23 and then a nice smart little pass back to the ranger looker wearing 97 who scores yeah, yeah it says matson on the back but i believe that's gateman or at least the score sheet says and that was a beautiful assist by number 23 bo Gress. he just regressed with that one simonson yeah six to three the street fighters beating up the old, the old barn owls yeah they're beating up the owls simonson the owls are hanging out in trees and the street fighters are putting on the pressure and there's matson there oh and he scores simonson the barn owls are coming they're flying back, Simonson. They were down, and now they're they're coming alive. It must be nighttime. Yeah, no, you know what? The, you're right. It is getting to sunset, and this is the time that they shine. They come out. Look at this. They're all different colors. Beautiful, majestic, but not really. So ugly. But a beautiful score. Yeah, a beautiful score by Matson and a beautiful assist by Hansen Bukata and Simonson. You're going to need to sober up a bit there to continue calling this play. Uh... Because I can barely call it, and I'm I'm only a few deep. Uh, I need to catch up. But nonetheless, yeah, beautiful and ugly all at the same time. And there's Berta with a shot and a nice save there, but I don't even know. Oh, it's Street Fighter's goalie, so that's Barrett. Hard to tell. Uh, there's the Barn Owls there, number 91 there, and the blue jersey, and there's the green jerseys, and I'm just focused on all the different color jerseys now. Yeah, no, definitely, that's right. So the Street Fighters, the guys are mostly black. Oh, they're, they're getting in a little thing. I don't know. A stick got flying from somebody's hands. Well, let's see. Number 91 here. Oh, Bath there from uh, 
Oh, what, what, what happened? Oh, he kind of held a stick there from the Iceman. I don't think it's Bath. I don't even know. It's so hard to commentate when he's wearing like a blue jersey. And uh, I don't know, Simonson. There's going to be a penalty on the play. <laughs> you know what, Coach? Oh, oh, there it is, Simonson. He threw a stick. It, and sorry, that was um, – it was uh, Ricci. He threw a stick. But – it, it, bath is in a go. That doesn't make any sense to me. Hey, you know what? None of this makes any sense. We've already dis with determined this from the jersey color and conflict. So I don't even know what's happening now. This guy, I hope he's okay, though. Yeah, something happened. And you're right. Absolutely nothing makes sense when you're not wearing matching jerseys. None of okay, look. 81 whiffed. And did you see that? He just smashed their player in the back of the head. Uh, or sorry, in the head, not in the back of the head. Um, that was ugly. Uh, oh, yikes. It was okay because he went to go and stop the puck. He missed it. And then he, or sorry, shoot the puck, missed it. And then he shot again, shot face. Anyways, there's Cameron there. Yeah, shot face. Oh, and they score the Street Fighters. There it is. Number nine, Gazzola just went Spazzola like he was on a Method Man album from 2002 or whatever year it was when he released Judgment Day. But look at a Gazzola go Spazzola there. Yeah, wow, oh, wow, yeah, baby, look at that, I like that one, uh, everything's falling apart, but this is great, uh, the goal on the board. Yeah, there's a goal on the board, Simon, and everything's falling apart, including yourself, um, and these guys are definitely going to watch this and realize that uh, you need to <laughs> figure it out. But they're also going to watch this and need to realize that they need to figure out their jerseys, and I'm happy for that, Simonson. It's a great game, and I wish I could enjoy it more if they would have worn proper jerseys. Yeah, you know what? It's a good little pickup game, I guess. That's what we're going to call it. And oh, an man, and Matson scored, but that's not Matson because he's wearing a completely different jersey, and the score sheet says Gateman. So who really knows what's going on here, Simonson? Nobody does. We've already established that. But anyways, that was a beautiful cross-ice pass if we're going to get back to talking some hockey. Yeah, sure, Simon. So let's get back to talking some hockey. Um, beautiful pass, beautiful goal. 7-5 uh, to five for the Street Fighters. Uh, there's two minutes and 30 seconds left in the third period, and there's the Street Fighters. They're gaining the zone of the Barn Owls. There. It gives it an advantage, and Nevada scores, and what a beautiful goal that is. That was all right. Yeah, no, you know what? This guy's been getting all over the scoreboard. He's been just dripping on it. So check that out. The no-look pass right into the slot, and he knows his partner is going to make that vanish. Yeah, I don't even know how many goals he's had. The hat, You know what? We missed the hat trick because he scored so much. The hat trick was ages ago. Uh, I believe that is his fist. He almost has a double hat trick in this game, Simonson. Uh, well, uh, you know, this game is a little funky. But here you go. Without a vanish, it would be... Uh, it would be... No, it doesn't matter because he's there. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what it would be. Um, that's just like saying with proper jerseys, it would be good. It's just not happening. Uh, and there you go. There's uh, the clock's run down, and this game is over. And Simon said, I really enjoyed the hockey, but I didn't enjoy the jersey situation. Oh, definitely. No, like, I like the caliber of hockey. It was fun to watch, but, I mean, boy, was that hard. Yeah, that was extremely hard. And hopefully they'll uh, take a look at this and realize that something needs to be done. you got to look good on the ice, Simonson. It's all about looking good. No, it's not about looking good. It's being able to determine your team from the other. Well, that too, Simonson.